Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Arfia and in today's video I'm gonna do the God Industrial Nightclub Tag. So the God Industrial Nightclub Tag, this is actually a tag that Amy and Critique here also on YouTube and I came up with. We made five questions each and made this tag video for you guys. All of the questions are in the description box and we would love it to see more of these pop up. So feel free to make this video as well if you're up for it. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna be tagging three other YouTubers to do this video as well. So let's get started. The first question, what is one song that you will always dance to? And I had a very hard time with coming up with only one song, but I think it is Sogon's Mask. It is one of my all-time favorite club songs. They started playing it when I started to go out and still every time I hear it, I just rush to the dance floor. Now for those of you who know me, you know that I am very much into dancing, so I will be dancing most of the time when I go out. And yeah, I just really love dancing. But to answer this question, Sogon's Mask is my all-time favorite club song that I will always start dancing. Too. Question number two, what is your all-time favorite club outfit? And this is a difficult one uh, because my club outfits need to be mostly comfy and easy to dance in, but Lip Service has a very cool collection which is called Millennium Moon. It is a black on black or silver on black print collection. I will include a picture of me wearing something of it here and it is so comfy to dance in. So my favorite outfit has to have pieces of this collection and then of course my trusty new rock boots. And that brings us to question number three. What are your favorite shoes to dance in at the club? And I personally prefer my two pairs of new rocks. One of them is just a flat platform, so without a heel. And the other one is a heeled platform. And funny enough, I actually prefer dancing in the heeled ones. They are super comfy, they make me feel super tall. I really love dancing in my new rocks. Either one of those, but I think the heeled ones are my personal favorites. Question number four, what is your favorite drink to have when you're at the club? Now, because I drive to the club and I drive alone, I am the only one with a driver's license with a car, I can't drink alcoholic drinks when I go out. And that's no problem to me because my all-time favorite drink is iced tea green, if they have it, and otherwise any other type of iced tea. And for me, it doesn't matter that I can't drink any alcohol because I will have fun no matter what I drink. So for me, it doesn't really matter too much. Question five, who is your favorite club DJ? And this is a question that I came up with and I actually had such a difficult time coming up with just one because it's actually a tie between two DJs. The first one being a old timer in my scene, it is DJ Hive. He will always make me dance, he's one of my favorite DJs. And then the second one is DJ Shavakia, who is one of my friends as well. And I just really like both of their DJ style. DJ Hive is more synth poppy and soft, whereas DJ Shavakia is more hard electro, harsh industrial electro. And I really love both of them. If they would both DJ at the same night, I would just dance from start to finish. Question six, when you go to the club, are you there more for the music and dancing or to hang out? Um, for me personally, it's more about music and dancing. I love dancing and I love discovering new music. So that's most likely where you'll find me. But of course, I can't dance from start to finish. So when I take breaks from dancing, I will also of course be talking to people. But that for me is kind of more a side thing. If the music is good, if I can dance, then I'm super happy. If I can socialize with people, that's also fine. But I prefer going out for music and for dancing. Question seven, what was your first God Industrial Club experience like and did you have fun that night? Um, my very first time at the God Club, I was actually 18, just 18, and I went to, back in the days, Nocturna, which is a party that doesn't exist anymore, and I fell in love. It was amazing. It was a Electro Top 100 night, if I remember correctly, so there were lots of like songs that I didn't even know, older songs, newer songs. Um, there were lots of people that I, of course, didn't know because it was my first time going there. Everyone was super nice. I danced so much and I went back every single Nocturna after that one. So for me, it was a really great experience. Um, it was really my introduction also into the God scene with people, as in before that I was online a lot, but where I used to live, we didn't have any 
clubs or bars or etc. So I really had to go to Hens back in the day um, to have my very first god night. Um, and after that I started going of course back to Noctuna but also to Vampire Party, afterwards Infected and much much more. So yeah, my very first god night was amazing. Question number eight. Has anything embarrassing ever happened to you at the club? Yes, and more than once. Um, I've had boots break on me, so uh, demonias, as you maybe know, are not the best quality. Go for new rocks if you can. One of the mishaps I had was while dancing, one of the soles of my demonias came undone and I just fell over and the sole was completely detached from my boots. My shoemaker was able to fix it afterwards, but at that moment I had to take off my shoes and dance barefoot because I did not have spare shoes with. Always take spare shoes. Um, also, don't wear shoes you're not comfortable in. I had the really great idea to wear pleaser heels with massive heels. Like, I will include a picture somewhere here of the ones I used to have. I wore them once and after maybe half an hour I had to take them off because I kept almost falling over, having a sore ankle from trying not to fall over and it was just terrible. So please listen to my advice when I say always take a spare pair of shoes. Question number nine. If you could have your own themed night at the club, what would it be? Um, if I could have my own club night, then it would be a industrial synth pop night. It is something we don't really have here in Belgium and I would love to have all of the music that I enjoy in one place. And I might actually be working on doing something similar with friends of mine. So maybe someday in the future I will be organizing my own amazing club night. Uh, I hope. One day. One day. <laughs> and finally, question number 10. What is one piece of advice you can give to anyone that wants to attend a god slash industrial club for the first time? Have fun, really. That is the main piece of advice that I would give. Wear clothes that you feel comfortable in, not per se to show off to anyone, especially if it's the first time you're going there, you maybe don't know yet what you want to wear, etc. Just wear something comfy. Um, if you're someone who generally enjoys dancing, wear something you can dance in. If not, make sure that you have a coat, etc. so you can talk to people, which at my party happens mainly outside. Be yourself, explore and have fun. I think have fun is the best piece of advice I could give to anyone going to their first God Industrial Night. So these were the 10 questions of the God Industrial Nightclub tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can find all the questions in the description box. I would love it if you guys would do this video as well. Let me know in the comment section if you did so I can go and watch it as well. And now I'm gonna tag three other YouTubers. The first one is Jossie Ayame because Jossie recently started her channel again and I would love to know what her answers are to these questions. Number two is Angel Nightmare. I know you're not as active as you used to be, but I would love to see you answer these questions. And finally, number three is Midnight Owl. I think it would be a lot of fun to see what it is like over there where you live. So I hope all three of you see this tag and want to recreate it as well. I would love to see your answers. For all others of you that are watching this video, if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I make new videos at least once every week on Fridays and I would love to have you for every single one of them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!